Such odd weather we've had this year. Talked to some other fellow gardeners that told me the same thing, that they said their garden just didn't grow. With a few exceptions. Hi, it's Robbie from Southern California and the sun is going down. So I thought I might do this quick little video on what is going on. Here on the wall, I grow all my zucchini. Can you see what's going on? You probably can't. So let me show you what's going on. These are zucchinis, and believe you me, I got a ton of zucchinis. These are the older plants that were started early in the year. And they're still going, and I will not pull them out because over winter, if we don't get too cold, I'll get the occasional zucchini. Now, these are the zucchini plants, this one and this one that was planted over a month ago. If you can see the difference, I'll walk down in a minute. See, these have nice big leaves, and we are dealing with powdery mildew due to the mornings being so damp and wet still. Yes, in summer going into fall. See the leaves, how small they are? Can you see that? This is actually a tomatillo coming up. They don't have the vigor that they have in the beginning of spring. Spring into early summer, you plant a seed, it takes off instantly and grows massive big leaves. At least it does for me. See how small they stay? Everything's the same, soil and everything, the way I do it. But they know, even though they are getting, oh, probably six, seven hours of sunlight still, and they're on a warm wall, the vigor is gone on those plants. They're trying to set a root system. See, even the lights are going on right now. They're trying to set their roots to grow and then produce fruit, because that's the first thing a plant does, is it throws its roots into the soil. But the point is, we're going into cooler weather, and we shouldn't be. I have never seen it like this before. And talking to other people that live in the area, they said they had, some had no tomatoes. We do, we have had tomatoes, no beans. A lot of things they normally grow really good. They said they didn't have squash, except for zucchini. And that's interesting. The only squash I've got is the fig leaf gourd gr growing in the truck bed, but we did have zucchini. So it was kind of, we compared notes that was, you know, the, kind of the same. Now my daughter had a bumper crop on peppers and cucumbers. And my friend I was talking to, he told me the same thing. He had so many cucumbers this year that he canned so many that he doesn't even know if he's gonna grow them, he said, next year. I'm sure he will, but that's what he said to me. Cucumbers, I wish I would have grown more plants. I tried to put a few more in there and now the vigor isn't there. That massive wanting to grow, you know, hormone in there. It's just they know we're going into fall and in three months we'll have winter. So it's kind of like starting to slow down. What's growing now will probably continue to grow until we hit frost, if we hit frost. If we have a mild winter, a lot of stuff will continue to grow. If we have a cold winter, last year, we remember we had snow, we lost all our tomato plants. Everything died. We, I think we might have had one or two little ones that made it, but generally I'm just gonna say most of them died. Now I did have, let's see, see this is a plant from early in the year. It's a tomato plant coming up. See the leaves are different compared to the ones I just tried to grow. Now sometimes you might be lucky in your area. You have a different microclimate than me. They may take off and grow. So that is possible. But for me, I can see this, and I do see this every year, that when I start to try to grow them at the end of August into the beginning of September, or let's say the beginning of August even, you can see the different pattern growth. Something that was planted early on in spring, I mean spring, they wanna grow so bad. I've had in the compost on the bottom of totes go six to eight inches up the zucchini to grow or any squash seed. But when it comes to this time of the year, they know, and it's just not growing that good. Now let's walk over here. This is why I don't pull anything out. I've got a beautiful zucchini plant, go figure, which probably has a massive root system that was planted all March of last year. This plant is a zucchini. It's got zucchini on it. It's got more zucchini coming in. I know I saw it down there. That plant was planted last year. So that root system is probably leaving the bucket and going into the black tote. What's really odd is it's broke and it's wrapped in tulle. It broke on me. And so I kind of, well, instead of using a bandage, I use tulle and it's working. So it's not growing anything there because that's what happens. As it throws more and more leaves, 
it's kind of like I call it unwinding. All these leaves can come off, but it will continue to grow like a vine, but it's not vining. It, it doesn't run like other squash do. So what happens with them is they just grow a plant, but the plant gets bigger and bigger as they are growing because they don't necessarily go, grow from the bottom, but if they broke, I have seen them grow from the bottom. That's why I don't pull them out this time of the year because now any of these zucchini could surprise me and start to grow. Now for next year, I would rather take them out. I just didn't get to that one. Take them out and start new around March into April, and then I'll get tons of zucchini. But zucchini, I did really good with. And then the cucumbers. Now they'll die out. They're not gonna go all year. They grow a lot of cucumbers, and then the plant itself usually fizzles out. A lot of people do two crops on them. In other words, they'll grow them, and as soon as you start getting a massive growth, they'll start another one. That's a good way to do cucumbers. We have gotten a ton of cucumbers. I come out here every day. I was gonna pick this one for dinner to make a salad, and there's more in there. I know I saw them, it's dark. It's hard to see right now. So cucumbers I did good. My only fault on that is I should have planted a whole bunch more. Some of them were taken out by squirrels. That's why I've got tool over them. They were all eaten down, but this worked. By throwing the tool here and simply clipping it up around the plant, I saved a plant, it started to grow back, and I got a lot of cucumbers, and there's more flowers, and more cucumbers back there. So they're doing good. These were chewed all the way down to the base, and they're making a comeback. Will they grow in time? It depends on our weather. We were 66 degrees today, and then later on in the day, it warmed up. So we were quite cool yesterday and today. They're saying the weather will warm. If it warms, they'll take off. So what's happening now is now I'm not gonna be planting any more squash. Not gonna plant corn. I'm not gonna plant any more tomatoes. I've got enough. If I've got a few sitting in pots that I planted from seeds, I'll move those around. I might plant a few peppers and get them up against the wall and protect them. Peppers are doing fantastic. Got peppers everywhere growing. What I will be growing this time of the year is I'm gonna concentrate on my walking onions, which is like green onions. They're fabulous. Maybe getting more onions planted before it gets cold. I might start some cabbage. I am doing cuttings off of a lot of my brassicas, like dinosaur kale, tree colored, the green tree colored, the purple tree colored, anything like that. I've got my pride and joy where it grows the big green leaves. It's kind of a multi-hybrid plant. I'm doing cuttings off of that. Things like that I can grow. And of course you can grow Swiss chard and there's so many more things. Now what is coming up right now, it's getting dark. I don't know how much you can see, is I do have Malabar spinach. This is the time of year that that takes off. That's this. And it's gonna reach here and go up. I've got it growing all over the place. I can show you, we can walk over here and I'll show you. Malabar spinach loves this time of the year. Don't ask me why, even if it's not too hot, it's gonna grow. See how dark it is? I wanna get this done in a second. So Malabar spinach is something I don't mind growing. I'm not a fan of it, but I did eat some raw today. Walking through, it's growing in the tote and it's going up and up and up and soon it's gonna throw red berries. So that's something you can grow. Strawberries, we didn't get too many. Even my daughter said she grow, grew tons of plants but very little strawberries this year. We didn't get too many, but I do have a nice one there and I ate a really big one the other day. And that's it, you can't see. See, the plants are gorgeous, but they throw these small strawberries. Again, I think it was our weather. Like I said, I did good on tomatoes and zinnias, did really well on that. My pepinos, I did a cutting over here. So I have a whole brand new pepino you cannot see anymore. So that did really good, but here's a pepper plant. You've seen it before, can't see it now. It's grown tons of peppers. That one got eaten, now I covered it in tulle. I had to cover that one and that stopped that. So I'm gonna have to say goodbye and finish my watering and walking through my plants. But I wanted to kind of touch base with you real quick and tell you what's going on. This is going to see, this is my milkweed and I've been collecting seeds for some of my neighbors. That is just for the butterflies, the monarchs. We have hundreds of monarchs that go through here all the time. So isn't this nice and peaceful? This is actually one of my favorite times to be in the garden. It's beautiful, it's quiet except for the planes going by. As peaceful. There's nothing nicer than going through the garden in the evening, watering your plants, 
and just thinking about what you want to do tomorrow or what what do you want to do with the garden this year and what do you want to do next year and think about even the holidays coming there's a lot of stuff you just kind of kick back and listen to the owl i heard an owl just hooting and sometimes you can even hear the poor will which is a bird we have out here and they come out in the evening seen them a couple times but i've never got a photo of them they fly in the sky and they flutter they're not a bat because a bat zips but they flutter and they flutter in a very odd way much different than a bat does hear that that's an owl hooting i don't know if you can hear that so i'm going to go finish before the sun is gone completely you have a wonderful day and hopefully you have a little bit of garden season left like us. We should still be gardening a ton of greens, lettuce I'm planting like mad right now. And like I said, the walking onions, I'm going around collecting all my baby walking onions and I'm getting them in pots. I'll have that all winter. I can put them on my windowsill and I can just sit them outside. And if you've got frosty areas around, they may not grow that well, but they won't die. They'll sit under the soil and they'll wait till spring until they burst out. But if you can keep them a little bit warm, and you don't have a frost, you could have walking onions growing all through the winter. With that, have a wonderful day, and don't forget to eat what you grow. Bye-bye.